Hi, I'm Bert Stephanie. I don't think my post-processing is anything special, but I get a lot of questions about it, particularly about this image of Erica. So uh, this is the final image, and it comes from uh, this image, which is the raw file. Let's see that again. So the final image and the raw file. So let's start by um, trying to make it into a square to match uh, the window, uh, the frame of the window. There was actually a window in front of her too, so that makes for the, the frame which is repeated in the background. So we're going to make it into a square um, crop. Bit of tweaking, tilting, uh, until we get it right. So here we go, this is uh, the crop. Uh, and then we are going to do some color correction. I knew I wanted this image a bit warmer. Uh, I think that you always have to shoot with post-processing in mind. Now this is oversaturated, but we'll fix that later. Uh, I knew I wanted this uh, pretty warm look in the picture. Uh, let's tweak the exposure a bit. I think it's a bit too high, so we put it a bit lower, about a third of a stop. I'm going to stay off uh, the fill light and the recovery sliders and I'm going to boost the blacks. Uh, I often boost them pretty significantly um, because that's just the look that I like. I don't mind that the blacks go completely black without any detail. Um, but the image is uh, a bit too uh, dark now so we're going to boost the brightness just a bit. Uh, maybe also uh, a bit of uh, added contrast, just a tiny touch. So and then it comes to uh, the uh, color settings. Uh, and uh, I knew I wanted to desaturate this image quite a lot. So let's see where we can get. We're going to add a bit of vibrance to uh, let the, the red color of the dress pop a little more. So and then we're going to play a bit again with the, the color settings to get this uh, warm tone um, which is still uh, very much desaturated but still a bit warmer so the overall feel of the picture is uh, a bit warmer let's go down to um, the the vignetting tool which i going to use to make the, the edges of the, the frame a bit darker. Mind you that these uh, sliders will apply to the whole image and not just the crop. But uh, this way I'm sure that um, the important parts don't get darkened, just a, a bit more contrast in the, uh, in the edges. You can see the difference here. It's uh, just minimal, but it, it works. Um, that's finished in Lightroom, but I think there's some blemishes. Uh, as you see, some shadows, blemishes on the forehead the shadows under the eyes that I want to retouch. I don't always do this, but um, in this case, I think they um, attract a bit too much attention. Um, so I'm going to um, go to Photoshop to um, solve those uh, little problems. So we're uh, opening the image in uh, Photoshop CS3, and we want to edit a copy with the Lightroom adjustments. So here's Photoshop. First thing to do is uh, duplicate the layer, so I can always go back or um, reduce the opacity on, on the retouched layer to mix it with the original one. We're going to zoom into the blemishes. It's just very small, but uh, we're going to make this image just a tiny bit smoother. I, For some reason, I like to work with a patch tool instead of the, the clone tool or the... Uh, um, the what's the other... The, healing brush. I think the patch tool feels more natural to me. You just circle around the blemish and um, replace that selection uh, into a part of the, the skin that is good and I think it gives for a very natural look. So I'm gonna go a bit closer for the, the smaller blemishes. I don't think you should clone out everything because then Erica is, is uh, too beautiful with all um, the little texture, so if you go to make a, a Barbie doll out of her, I don't think that would be very uh, nice. So let's uh, take a look at the shadows under the eyes. 
we're using pretty hard light still still umbrella but still hard light so we're going to remove those uh those shadows a bit going to remove a few more blemishes. And then there's a, a bit of shine on her nose and I'm going to remove that too. And I think the, the patch tool is just uh, about right to do this at least for me. I know not many photographers use this tool to uh, retouch blemishes, but for me I think it works most naturally. I use a Wacom uh, tablet uh, with it and it makes it really easy to, um, to get this done. It's important to go um, to take a general look on the picture and to zoom out so you have an idea of uh, how the complete picture will look. Um, I see a before and after. Do some minor uh, extra retouching. And then here there's the, the earring. It's not quite um, clear that it's an earring, but I want it out because it's uh, a bit distracting too. So again, with the patch tool, circle around it and go to a black area and, uh, well, it's gone zoom out and, and check out if there's anything more that we need to do. Maybe there's a, a few blemishes on the arms. I usually don't go as far as removing those, uh, but I'll do it for the sake of the exercise and to show you how I do it and why I do it. So here we go. Uh, the image is uh, finished. Let's uh, let's just save it and uh, compare it with um, the original one um, in Lightroom. So here we go, this is our final picture, and this is the original. This is the, the final Lightroom picture, so without the Photoshop retouching, this is with Photoshop retouching. So that's it for this uh, video, hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you next time.